You ever wonder if I were here? It's one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? Hey everyone, welcome to the Receipt Podcast. I'm Gus. I am Barbara All. I'm comfy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Andrew. And I'm Gus. I feel underdressed. I, feel like that's how <laughs> I know. The, that's how the couch brought, this, brought a summer They're look. They're so fashionable. Mm. Yeah. I'm just here in my Ottawa Senators jersey. Go Sens, go. <laughs> go, go Sens. Go Sens, yeah. Go. I prefer the pens. Uh, yeah, I mean, Sens aren't doing well, nor have they ever really done well, <laughs> except in 2007. <laughs> so are Senators also like gladiators? Because I'm looking at that and I realize I only ever thought of like politicians. Oh, yeah. Uh. I guess I guess so. Well, I guess like a Senator, well, wasn't a, isn't a Senator like the head of an army in Roman terms? Look it up. As long as I'm you have no follow up questions. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes it is. I uh, totally knew that. The word Senator has been used in English since 1200 from the Latin word Senex or old man. Oh, uh. <laughs> Go Ottawa, old man. <laughs> <laughs> Go Centrum Silvers. Because like, wasn't uh the the guy Caligula? Wasn't he like the? Was he like he was a, an emperor? I thought. Oh, never mind then. He was the. But he was but an he old did, man. He did war stuff though. Did he? The PBS Cal- series I watched didn't really focus on the war. Focused on a oh, lot of other things. Just on the incest. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> well, watched that in my high, in my that. high school Latin class. <laughs> we watched the PBS Caligula, like masterpiece theater thing. Yeah. I forget how long it was, but we started watching it, and then like. Three or four episodes in, my uh, Latin teacher was like, well, I can't show that anymore. Someone's parents <laughs> complained to the school and uh, oh we can't God. watch it. And I was like, even in high school, I was like, it's PBS. It's PBS. What? <laughs> it's, it's, not like, they, it's not like the one that they did on Netflix where the entire promo for that season, because they, they did a bunch of Roman emperors up to Caligula. And then the Caligula season, the ad is just like, it's just like, it's just like, his sisters were each more fair than the last and him just like stroking their faces. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess we're just, they're just going to put it right out front. They're just going to jump right into senator it. senator approached. Uh, <laughs> no beating around the bush, so to speak. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah it is a family bush, not a family tree. It does oh. not, it, it does not I extend. I want to end the podcast right now. I mean, oh. like, you fucking, you, you killed it. That's family it. bush should never be. Speaking, speaking of vomitorium, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, speaking of, uh, let's change the subject to something a little more pleasant. Something exciting. Uh, something exciting. Yeah, we have a um, uh, Moon Tower uh, Just for Last Festival. Ooh. We're going to be uh, participating at uh, this year. Uh, it's here in Austin. It's happening April nineteenth at six p. I was looking at you guys. I don't know why I'm telling you. I should be telling the camera. It's happening <laughs> April nineteenth uh, at eight hundred Cong- Congress Avenue downtown, uh, right across from the Paramount Theater. A live Rooster Teeth podcast. Yes. I, I won't be there. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Gus but, won't be there. <laughs> but uh, some of you will be here. I'll be there. We'll be there. Uh, Jeff's also going to be there. Yep. Um, so Mondo. Just head over to is there a link? Mondo. Austin Theater. Mondo. Check it out. Man, I'm I'm sure he's bummed. It's one day too soon. I know. Well, no, he'll just so be in, he'll just be in town for it, as if that needs that, as if that's gonna stop him yeah. to do or not to. <laughs> I I love the devil's ha- lettuce. I love having any <laughs> excuse to fly Mondo out. Yeah, <laughs> has he? Have we talked about anything him, with Mondo? Him moving here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he said it. Okay, yeah, he said it. Yeah. I was I was I, like, yeah. as that was coming out of my nah, mouth, we, I was like, am I about to ruin something? He said it. I picked his apartment. You did. Yeah, yeah. you were you were instrumental. I in was his... instrumental in his apartment choices. Yeah. It's his apartment. Uh, like half the price of his yes. uh, Los Angeles Less, it less than. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, it's less than half. And the thing that pissed me off was um, he was saying all the stuff that he calculated in for like what he wants to spend, like what his budget was. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, how much is parking? And they were like, oh, the parking's free. And he stopped and he was like, what? <laughs> and they were like, you can pay like 40 bucks for a spot, but like parking's free. Like, like we a have reserve a lot of, spot. Yeah, yeah, for a reserve yeah. spot, but parking's free. And he's like... I paid two hundred and fifty dollars a month for huh. non-reserved parking, and he what? built that and into an his budget. That you rent? Yeah, he has to pay two hundred and fifty dollars to have access to the parking garage, not a reserved spot. That makes me angry. Two hundred dollars for the privilege. Two fifty. Two fifty for the privilege of parking your ass across I, a lot. That's so LA, like, baby. The place oh that you God. live. That's I think LA. The, the the thought process is that. It then encourages people to use public transit, but no, there's no public transit in LA. There's there's a train. Is there? Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a yeah, train. There's, I no one yeah, know. I know. There's, a, there's a Jack train. loves it. There's a train. Oh, Jack yeah. loves it. Okay. There's a single train, uh, just like in Austin. Uh, but uh, but the problem is when the public transit isn't robust enough. One and two, they they don't discount your rent for not having to give you a parking space. It's no. like right. You're getting 
uh, money it's, off it just sucks. having to take a spot. I, it sucks. I so it's funny. I'm I'm about speaking of cars. I'm about to pay off my car, which is very exciting. Ooh, um, hell yeah! Okay. But along but it's along the Mondo lines of like getting basically moving somewhere and having your rent be like less than half of what it is. It's like getting a raise. Yeah, yeah. you're like getting. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Well, it's awesome. like he's he's getting a raise in that he doesn't have to pay for parking. Uh, his apartment is cheaper, and uh, Texas doesn't have a state income tax. Man alive. Right. He is cleaning up. Dinner's the on him. We call that the California trifecta. Oh, and he's selling. I think he's going to sell his car. So the man is coming up. Like, he's going to be buying Flush. my drinks for the rest of the year. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> well, you hear well, that? 200, he has an extra 250 a month. Extra 250 <laughs> That's, like, on that's like six drinks in Austin. Armando, I'm yeah, looking at you right now. <laughs> Dinner is on you. Oh, yeah. Buddy. Thank you, Always. Armando. Yeah. 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 What a uh, generous guy. So it's, it's when you say you were about to pay your car off. Yeah. This past weekend, I went out, uh, the opposite of that, I went out looking at cars. Hmm. Oh. Uh, Esther said that maybe, you know, she wants to look at cars just to oh, see what was out okay. there. So with really no, which like very wide open. It's like, sure. I don't know what we're looking for. Let's just go walk around a couple car lots and, and see, like see what sticks. Because, mm-hmm. you know, looking online, you can't tell, like yeah. seeing one in person, very yeah, different. Yeah, being able to like sit in it and yeah. Yeah. like that, yeah. Feel the leather. So we we're walking yeah. down a, walking around in a car lot. Which was, I'm not going to say where it was, but it was, the key detail here, it was not a Chevy dealership. So we're walking around this, okay. this okay. car lot, and uh, there's, a, like, there's a Chevy Bolt sitting there. It's like the electric Chevy car uh-huh. in like the you. used lot section, obviously. Yes. And uh, like, she's like, oh, that's kind of cute. So then, you know, we asked the salesperson about it, and he's like, oh, you want to take a test drive? We like drive it around the block and whatever. And, uh, you know, we get out of it, and I was like, I know nothing about the Bolt. Like, I, I like this car has Is never it fully electric. Re- right. Okay. This car it's has never registered one, right? anything to me. Yeah, right. Yeah. I was like, I need to. We're not going to buy this car. Like, without me reading about it. Yeah. Like, I'm, right. like I tell, I'm telling this to the salesperson. Yeah. Like, we're going to go. <laughs> we, we'll read into this and we're going to look into this. And make sure it's fine. You're talking to Mr. Due Diligence here. <laughs> yeah. I am going to thoroughly investigate. Yeah. So the, Bring uh, Trevor on the podcast. And you guys will have the trifecta <laughs> yeah. due the, diligence. The salesperson's like, okay, let's hold on for a second. Uh, I'm going to grab someone. And he leaves for a bit. Then he comes back with like the general manager. Oh, great. Yeah. You know, Full you know court press. Yeah, you should have just the... left. You should have just <laughs> well, Irish goodbye. The, the general manager's like, oh, you know, uh, you know, what you know, what are y'all looking for? And my wife's like explaining stuff. And uh, he's like, What attracted you to this car specifically? I was like, well, that's You a, that's saw a it weird, with your eyes in your lot? Weird question, yeah. And then uh, um, then they're like, Yeah, you know, we can't work out like any finance details or anything, because in case you don't buy it today, like everything changes day by day. Just, you know, go ahead, do your research and uh, let us know if you want this car. And I was like, okay, this is code for something. So then, <laughs> like, we leave the dealership, the dealership, and I like Google Chevy Bolt, you know, and it's like, oh, this car has been recalled yep. seven times yep. because the battery catches yep. fire. Uh, uh, and then uh, there's a, there's an open recall on this on every Chevy Bolt ever made yep. because. If you get in a crash and the seatbelt tensioners activate, there's a chance they light the carpet on fire and the whole floor catches fire. Yep. And I was like, how like how bad is this really? So I was like, let's go to a Chevy dealership and ask them about it there. Because oh right, like they'll God. know more about it. This is just some other non-Chevy yeah, dealership yeah. we're at. And let me guess, they're not selling <laughs> any Chevy bolts. That's a third-hand Chevy bolt. Right. So then we go up to the Chevy dealership and we're like walking around and some guy comes out. It's like, hey, can I help you? It's like, hey, what's the deal with the Chevy bolt? He goes, oh, yeah, we can't sell those right now. I was like, what do you mean? He goes, yeah, we're not even allowed to take those in for trade-ins or anything right now. Those things catch fire and explode, you know? I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> this is at the Chevy dealership. The Shit. guy's like that. Wow. <laughs> He's like, yeah, we've, we've, got, we've got like four on the lot. I can't even show you them. We're not. We, 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 in fact, we, we're over there. Don't look over <laughs> yeah. there. We Don't even look that we way. We keep them uh, three football fields away from the rest of the cars just in case. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Texas heat. Wow. Never knew what's going to happen. Yeah, I, I heard Chevy Bolts were kind of like iffy. I didn't know they were that bad. Nah, though. I knew they were splody as soon as he said it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, shit. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's why when they pulled the second guy over, I was like, hmm. So, had- what uh, attracted you to this car? Are you planning to. Uh, I don't know, uh, do something drastic? Or <laughs> you could be like, you could say it was like a moth to a flame. You're like, it's hey. a gift. Uh, I didn't know about... Uh, for my wife. For my ex-wife. <laughs> Seatbelt tensioners will turn this into an air fryer at the drop of a hat. Good uh, God. A few, uh, maybe like a year or two ago, I bought an air fryer off Amazon. Hell yeah. That got recalled oh. as well. Oh, that's great. Uh, for what? Th- th- apparently catching fire. I don't know what it is with these things catching fire, uh, but... It was like a whole process of like writing down this number. You had to like cut the cord what? to take a photo. Really? Because you have to, to essentially prove, prove that you're, to prove you're not going to use it. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, they're 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 going to send me a new one for free. But if you bought a Corsair air fryer 
on Amazon or any other website. Uh, it's check probably <laughs> it's probably been recalled. So you'll go you'll check notice uh, you can tell it's that model because there's an arson set. <laughs> yeah, turn it to yeah. arson. Yeah, you uh, you yeah you may be able to get financial compensation. <laughs> you may be entitled to compensation. <laughs> Oh, that's a shame. Did you get a new air fryer? Not yet. They still have to send me a new one, but uh, they, it was cool. They give you like options for other things you could replace it with. Okay. Like a coffee maker, Weird. this <laughs> other like toaster oven thing. Yeah. And they, I'm like, I just want my air fryer. They just want to see if they can get out of making more <laughs> air fryers. Like, yeah. we're not good at this. Yeah. <laughs> can we, can we interest you in something else? A microwave? Oh, Kasori. Not not Cosair. Kasori. Yeah, it's no. like C-O-S-O-R-I, I think is something like that. Yeah. Kasori. Something yeah, sorry. Yeah. We, we look at computers Rodrigo all day. <laughs> Chat. Yeah, I I don't know the names of things, but yeah, that's that's Close crazy. Enough. Yeah, I don't think I've, I've never um, had anything recalled, but I was part of the uh, class action lawsuit against Kotex. Oh, nice. Yeah, they they gave out a lot of money because uh, I don't know they I don't know some another corporation trying to poison us, and mm. they were like, hey, if you can show uh, receipts for like however long you've been buying our products, we'll put you as part of the rec as part of the recall. And I was like, I got like two cvs receipts probably that have it and just and like i forgot about it and like three months later check for like seven dollars and 58 cents <laughs> well I, yeah. I can dry my tears with this certainly uh as i from a company that was like soaking their product in formaldehyde <laughs> yeah. or some shit and it was, it was like, definitely something like that whatever yeah. they used to bleach the cotton that, that is one of the things i like now about getting digital receipts <laughs> at places is like you say like maybe i have a couple receipts like oh no yeah that's in my email yeah. let me just search Kotech. there yeah, it is there boom it is. like pull, pull up like your entire search history or your entire purchase history History. Yeah, my dad just texted me to say, "Kosori, we have one." Uh -oh. Well, you oh. might Cut be, the cord. You're gonna be, might be a model. You need to uh, get returned. You, you might be entitled to financial comp compensation. <laughs> you only, might be Kosori if you use it. <laughs> it's only Folks. a certain, uh, certain type of model. It's not all of them. So I, I think there's like a recall website you could go to. I don't remember. It's, uh, what it was. If you have the the Corsair or the Kosori uh, Arsenista. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> you may need, you may uh, get, be subject to a recall. Delicious. Mm. You can buy one half of a drink in Austin. Speaking of <laughs> Austin drink. Yeah. Spe speaking of uh, 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 product, re product recalls, I love. I was listening to another another, another podcast uh, that I really like, but they were talking about um, at the beginning of the century there was a, a product called Radithor, oh. which was. A, a drink for Vega. It was one of those like <laughs> patent yeah. medicine. Yeah. Like it peps you up. Yeah, it peps you up. Yeah, it was it was chock full of radium. Oh, was, is that the was, ratty in Radithor? It, that was, that's the rad in Radithor. So you were like, that's some shit you find in Fallout. You, true. Like this was like <laughs> a purely radioactive. It was like, it was literally just like water and radium and like Ugh. just people swallowing radioactive stuff. Like there was a guy, the guy most famous for, like a, a spokesman for it. I think it was a golfer. Mm. Like drank it. They gave it to him for a, bro oh. a broken arm, but he just kept drinking it because he's like, this stuff makes me feel so energetic and great. And I mean, did he melt from the inside? No. Yet, yeah, yes. Like not a joke. Yes, he <laughs> literally, like true end of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade style stuff <gasps> was like just disintegrate. Basically, just shit. his body had to be buried like away from other people oh in like a lead-lined coffin because he this, was this, irradiated. This man, this man it, his bones are radioactive. I, like I, he, I have the specifics here, if you'd like to hear please, them. I, I pulled it up while you were, please, you, you were doing that. Thank you. Yeah. It was uh, Eben Byers, uh, uh, American socialite, athlete, industrialist, um, uh, said to have died from radium poisoning in 1932. Uh, however, the real cause was various cancers <laughs> as a result oh, of Oh, that was unrelated to the radium. Sure. Various cancers. Various ca <laughs> you get, you know when you, know. you get multiple cancers not because of the radium? As you yeah, do. unrelated. Uh, Byers was buried in a lead-lined coffin. When exhumed in 1965 Why? for study, his remains were still highly radioactive, uh, measuring 225,000 becquerels. That sounds uh, high. At a comparison... Uh, the amount present in a typical human body produces approximate, uh, what is it? As a comparison, the roughly 0 0.0169 grams of potassium-40 present in typical human body produces approximately 4,400 uh, becquerels, and he was at 225,000. Oh, my God. That's Jesus. a problem. 1932. That, <laughs> that's, that's too soon. That's not long that's enough ago. That's too recent. That's, like, that's yeah. way too recent for uh, that comfort. Uh, His death led to the strengthening of the FDA's uh, powers and the demise of most radiation-based patent medicines. Oh, that's government overreach. Yeah. Run amok. Although it's like, I see stuff like that and you, I hear about you, things like that. You heard it. Drink radium to own the libs in the federal <laughs> government. Yeah. <laughs> and bleach, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Um, to get rid of COVID. Have you... um? 
okay, so I'm on a very specific side of TikTok, which in which I just see things that I don't think anyone else sees, and uh, there are people that just go to um, they just go to like secondhand stores, mm. with, uh, UV lights, and they just look for irradiated oh. uh, dishes and stuff. Yeah, but then when I'm watching the videos, I, I don't think they tell anyone or buy it. I think they just do the video and leave it. What's what's the dishes? What are all these? There's like, there's like radiation, a, or like radio radiation glass. Is that yeah? Because yeah. like they, what was it? Was it was it uranium? Uranium, uranium glass. Yeah, yeah. They, they, uranium glass. They were making it like whenever the fuck they were making it, and like you can still find it in secondhand stores because people will be like, ah, I gotta get rid of grandma's shit. And yeah, then they'll just take it to a Goodwill. Oh my god! And I, and you can check it with like a UV light. I think if it light, lights up, yeah, if it lights up under the UV light, it's full of it's it's radiated it's like poison. It, yeah, it'll kill you. <laughs> Slowly, but it will. Because it yeah. was in grandma's cabinet for, for 70 years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but, yeah. the cabinet was lead lined. That's so. true. Yeah. It was, it was, it was <laughs> lined with lead paint. With lead paint. Yeah. So that's what. What about yeah. my crate and barrel dishes? How are those? No, I'm sure those have those have a those have a toxin in them that we're not going to know about for another 30 another years. You're fine. Yeah. PFAs well, or whatever. In a future podcast, about yeah. 70 years from now, they'll be, like, they'll be like, can you believe it? Yeah, yeah. They'll be like, you know you can still go to the, the bad will. I guess we'll have in the future. Yeah. <laughs> you know they used plastic straws. Can you, you believe, believe it? Oh my People God. used plastic to put period. plastic in their mouths. Oh my God, that's crazy. That's what it's going to be. Yeah, no, that's definitely going to lead to a lot of cancer. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for our generation. Oh, for sure. I think about that a lot. But I also, like, I've seen a lot of videos about how, especially food in America, mm -hmm. is essentially poison. They yeah. will not it's serve not good it for you. They, they, they won't like, give it to are, animals. They are countries. banned in yeah. other countries. Things like Pop-Tarts and yeah. Skittles yeah. and drumsticks and, like, Twinkies. Twinkies, all these different foods that a lot of us Americans poison. here eat. All the time, like I had pop tarts two days ago. Yeah, they're poison. It, the stuff is poison. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's it's one of those things where you're like, ugh, whatever. It's uh, oh, I can't read the like, oh, I looked at the label and it said all this stuff, and like half of it's just sugar, like words for sugar. Sure, but yeah. then the yeah. other half of it's again probably gonna kill us. There's, uh, well, there's like the, the the most famous one I can think of off the top of my head is uh, is Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew was on that? the list. You can't. They don't sell it anywhere else. One of the ingredients in it is a is very chemically similar to a flame retardant. Oh. So they can't sell it in Japan or the EU. Or California. Uh, BVO is banned in Japan and the European Union because it contains bromine, the bromine, element yeah. found in brominated flame retardant, Jesus. which can build up in the body and potentially lead to memory loss as well as skin and nerve problems. But hey, do the do. Do, do the, the do. do. Um, they, they, yeah, they found it. They, they found it. Yeah. <laughs> they, have, they found uh, brominated from, from flame retardants. They found it in like, the blubber of ringneck, ringneck seals shit. in the Arctic. Like, that's how it's prevalent it is. Pervasive. It's pervasive. It's pervasive. It's everywhere. everywhere. But um, that's also what gives the Baja Blast its delicious, notable flavor. That's no. right. That's <laughs> that's where the blast comes from. Yeah, that's the um, blast. <laughs> well, that's what's so interesting, too, is, like, you... They, um, so much of our foods, they they won't they won't give it to animals in other countries. Yeah. yeah. Like, they won't even serve it to pigs. Yeah. Um, and then you go to a foreign country and have their packaged food, and you're like, oh, I get it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, well, the, I don't feel like shit. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Well, that's because, like, because because it's like they're pat like the prepackaged stuff that they have the processed stuff for yeah. some reason like processed stuff in other countries doesn't taste good uh, as good as the processed stuff here for good reason. It's chemicals because it's because chem it's the chemicals, <laughs> and then you actually eat good food. You're, yeah. You're, you're, yeah. You, you go to yeah. the bodega and get their nice produce. Exactly. And eat fresh food. It's actually yeah, good I, for you. I saw this video of this girl who went to I guess like Italy or something yes. to study. I don't know if you saw the same one the milk thing. And she was like. I don't think it was the milk one, but she was talking about how like she moved to Italy a few like a month or two ago. She hasn't really changed much about her diet. She still eats the same types of food, does the same level of exercise. But like for the first time in her life, she doesn't feel sick in her stomach yeah. and bloated and gross and awful and tired all the time. No poison. And it's like, it's the food. Yeah. It's the fucking food. Yeah. And she's like, I'm eating essentially the same types of things. Obviously not like things that are processed and packaged in a certain way in the States. Yeah. But like my God, it's yeah, that's like fluorine like, in the water. Here. When people go to like like if you go to another country and you have like the dairy, you like most people like they don't have the lactose intolerant. Ladies and gentlemen, for the award of nonsense for twenty years, the nominees are Oh my God, what Dust is Cerola, <laughs> Barbara Dunkelman, what is Andrew Rosas, and Griff. I was wondering why Cody was messing with the lights. The before. award goes to Gus Cerola. Thank you. Wow. It's a, it's a real honor to 
uh, <laughs> accepting this chattering teeth. I got to say thank you to all the uh, all my fellow nominees here. We've, it's just uh, an honor to be nominated. We've really yeah. seen the struggle. Um, this is okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun, it's I, made of radium. Yeah. It's actually radioactive. And it's a lead, Funko base. And lead paint. <laughs> it's a Funko base? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, uh, anyway, thank you to the Academy Beautiful. for recognizing everything. I'm being played off, uh, so I appreciate it. Uh, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. So that's where the chattering team comes <laughs> Before the show, I saw them playing with all these different looks, and Cody was messing with the lights. I was like, the oh, that's weird. They must be working. They must be filming something yeah. later. Now I'm wondering if there's other awards going on throughout nah. the podcast that we're just going to be <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <Tyler's> scrambling. <laughs> Tyler just <laughs> this must be from uh, one of the uh, bobbleheads, either the Gus or the Bernie bobblehead. Yeah. Mm. That light change legitimately, like, for a the split second was like, uh, oh, something is actually going wrong. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, a fucking gobo. I thought maybe like they were putting something up on the yeah. On the chat back exploded in uh, <laughs> what the hell is going on. <laughs> uh, moment. You and us both. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, so I, 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 you know, it, it may be a good segue. Um, you know, we just had our 20th anniversary this past weekend. Woo! Woo! Shout out to one years. more year, Boop! one more year, and we, <laughs> we one more drinking. Not, yeah. not by Canadian rules. Um, oh, that's true. Yeah. And uh, two more years ago, I wanted to wear uh, the 20th anniversary shirt. <laughs> what you got on a podcast today, which I actually have right here. Um, good color for you. Yeah. But I, I, I couldn't do it because. It has the old logo on it, uh, and I was afraid if I did that, you get in trouble. Well, no, that there would be a thread somewhere. It's like Gus is secretly protesting the new logo by wearing the old logo on the <laughs> oh, podcast. Oh no, you're absolutely right. correct. One, no, you're <laughs> absolutely so I was like, correct. I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna say I really wanted to wear this, but you, I don't want to feed any conspiracy you don't theories. Don't want to start a controversy. <laughs> I don't want to start something that's not there. Wow. Oh my in, our, God. in your defense, we fucking made the shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We planned but, this. <laughs> but to wear it right now after the change. So I was like, no, I'll bring it. I'll say I'm very happy about it. Uh, we had 20 years. I just don't want to don't yeah. go, don't want to scratch that itch. I yeah. think um, I see some favoritism, though, because how come we don't have a blue one? Yeah, where's the blue? Where's the, only the red one. Where's oh. the blue yeah, one? We got, the, we got that new blue. Red versus blue. I don't know. It was a missed opportunity. I know. I, Although I, I Gus is red team, so yeah. nah. red. I'm, okay, I'm, that's fair. In yeah. the 20 years I've had many jobs, none of them has ever been making the merch. So I cannot <laughs> answer that for you. I'm sorry. That's fair. <laughs> I do like the idea that you wanted to avoid a conspiracy about you wearing a shirt. Right, I was like, I was like, I was, I was getting ready to put it on before the show. I was like, oh wait. You hey, were you were no. writing Gus. the Reddit thread in your mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you were populating all of the like comments like yeah. fucking. Okay, hell. but Gus, now that you said that. Now in my head, the Reddit thread is none of them wore merch on this episode. <laughs> well, you know what they say: an Ottawa senator is very close to a rooster <laughs> to a rooster logo. Teeth. It's uh, also red. I just wanted to wear this today. <laughs> and I, 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 I didn't have anything with the new logo. Yeah. I, I, I we don't that, have anything fine. yet with the new logo. Yeah. So that's One that's day, the reason. I've, I've, seen some, I've seen some comps with the Me new logo, too. and it looks fucking sick. I'm actually excited. Yeah. I like the little guy. Me too. The little, the little, little the, we we don't. He doesn't have a name. We've just been calling him the little guy, and I think I'm just gonna keep calling him that. I like little guy. I, I love little because, guy because everyone loves little guy. We should little call him. We should call him Artie. 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 Shut the fuck up. Oh, <laughs> We've been wanting to use Artie for something for. A we very could call long him Artie. Time. Artie the little guy. Did you guys for, want to for do something for shorts? Artie Schwartz. Yeah, and for a while, remember when we were making shorts over in the bungalow? We had the joke about corporate being run by Artie, yeah. Artie Shorts, and he was like, Artie's, Artie's Pager Palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had to like push pagers in the shorts. Artie. I think it was like this overarching theme we never got around it to. It was a real 30 Rock Shinehart yeah. Wigs Corporation yes. that owns NBC. <laughs> like it was a real, yeah, it was, uh, it was like Don's Ringtone Emporium. That's what it was. No. <laughs> Don's Ringtone Emporium owned like... <laughs> Owned Warner Brothers, who owns us. Like That's it was this, funny. yeah, yeah. And I remember there was a short we filmed where it was uh, Bernie interviewing me or like going over my record or something like that. Mm -hmm. And like, we we had the Don's ringtone emporium <laughs> up on the screen, yeah, and he's yeah. like, Don wants us to do background checks. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that yeah, was a man. That was a fun was. one. God, those were the days. Remember when you could make sketches online yeah. that were like, like full for man. No one's got yeah. attention span no more. Just, those People are the salad want, days. Want one minute sketch. Want the one, Not everybody. I want one minute, but yeah. No, Very man. short attention span online these days. That was uh, <laughs> those, were the, those were the salad days. God, was the we, salad we, uh, days. Speaking of salad days, we just put out one of the un, one of the final you know squatting for stuffs winding down. Oh, yeah. We put out yeah. one of the the videos that Rip. I had written. The pizza mutilation. Oh my god! It that came one's... out like last week. Or the Gus week was before. showing everyone the pizza mutilation. <laughs> it's so good. Short. I Did love you see it. it so oh, I've much. seen it. It stressed me the fuck out. I've <laughs> it's seen so it. So yeah. good. 
There were so many comments that were just like, I can't believe they ruined a perfectly good pizza. Well, that's the same well, thing. We was, ate the pizza. We ate the pizza. We so fully ate the pizza. Up. People were like, oh, they wasted all that food. No. no we ate that fucking pizza. Oh, we yeah. fucking ate <laughs> and Gus like, had his 20 slices. Yeah. <laughs> just like carrion birds hovering no, over just like carcass. Yeah. Absolutely we, fucking vile. We just like divided it up into like little piles with the fork. Because it was kind of at the pull. It was shredded. Because it was shredded, but sometimes it wasn't cut all the way through the crust. So you're just getting a hunk of pizza. And it's pizza's pizza. Pizza. Pizza's pizza. pizza's it's pizza. all going. It all looks the same in the end. It but like it's end. all going to the same place. But still, <laughs> there was something about the like pre-mastication of the food <laughs> that you're just like. And Chris was doing it too, which made it even worse. And I won't. T- I won't eat anything that guy's touched. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it was. It was yeah, I, for for that short. I, I had to go. Make it. <laughs> I had to go <laughs> to a, a pizza place near the studio, and I went in and I ordered. I was like, listen, can I order just like a large cheese pizza? And can you guys not cut it? And they're like, what do you mean? I was like. Just make the pizza, and then when it comes out of the oven, put it in the box. Don't cut it. How would they say, what do you mean? Because I think no one's ever asks that. We actually make pizza by the slice, so um, (laughs) they're already pre-cut. We make it (laughs) pre-cut. We make it (laughs) pre-cut. So then like, they they, they confirmed with me like three times. I paid. (laughs) Then it came out of the oven, and they're like, okay, you don't want it cut, right? We're just putting it in the box. Like, yes. Don't cut it. Just like that. Don't you go online and go? I got pizza from such and such place. They didn't, <laughs> they didn't even cut, cut it for it. me. Blappy Earth Day Blenica refund. cake. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, another Thirty Rock <laughs> reference. Um, yeah, I love just like don't cut it. I do not want the pizza cut. I'm gonna have to talk with my manager. <laughs> like they gotta like talk to yeah. people to make sure. Uh, that we... Sir, we always cut the pizza. <laughs> it's that kid from Simpsons. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he just points to the sign that says Step One uh, Dose Step Two. <laughs> <laughs> the just this cut. comes out of my salary. If I had a girlfriend, she'd kill me. <laughs> <laughs> the best part, and and we've uh, gotten food from there before for other stuff like the first pizza skit we did way back in the early stf days we got a box from that same place pizza right and we had to convince them to give us like two a two or three empty pizza boxes yeah, well, and i'm like i'll pay for that we were like we'll pay you for the box and they're like no you just have it yeah but i like that place because they have the generic box yeah, yeah. it doesn't it, have it their looks name like a it's TV like pizza the box. italian right. guy with a pizza yeah. basically like what you think of they put a little pizza table in there yeah oh yeah, yeah. the little the little uh, little doll table yeah. in the center to keep yeah. it from getting Smushed. Smooshed. Is that what it's for? I've yeah. seen so many yeah. different. It's so the lid doesn't squash things about it. Man, what it's for every time I every time I watch Home Alone, whenever they talk about how much twelve pizzas cost, or it's like it's, it comes out, it's like here's eleven pizzas. Oh, it's one hundred twenty two fifty. What? Like, Man, a hundred inflation has come for my pizza. I remember 100- watching that for the first time and thinking, like back when it went first came out, yeah. thinking, "Holy shit, that's so expensive!" Yeah, you know, that's so much yeah. money. But it's like, oh, that's a lot of pizza. And to feed a nowadays. family of fifteen, that's two people? and a half pizzas from Via. Yeah, truly. Yeah, Via pizzas. If you get a large, oh, it's thirty six yeah. bucks. Yeah, for one pizza. Yeah, now it's like. I think some places have deals, but I feel like the cheapest I've seen, like a large pizza, is like seventeen dollars. Yeah, like or even like twenty bucks. It's, it's 20. not. Yeah, pizza. The pizza economy has gotten out of hand. It's got like your parents could used to like give you a twenty, and you could just like order uh, two pizzas and a coke and have change. I like, found I'm, out also recently. Speaking of inflation, quick note: someone was talking about how like making forty thousand dollars in nineteen seventy. When it's like parents are like, oh, I made I made forty thousand yeah. dollars a year in, in you know back in my day, and I was able to afford a house and this and that and retire. Yeah. Forty thousand dollars in nineteen seventy is the equivalent of making three hundred and ten thousand yep. dollars today. Yep. Correct. Correct. Yeah, like which I, is insane. Yeah. My dad, my dad's first job that he had, the first job that he had right out of college was yeah, fifty, yep. 50 grand in yep. like nineteen eighty. Yeah. That's a and billion dollars. Like, still making forty thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. I if they're lucky yeah. these days. I have the. I went to the same college that my parents went to. I have the exact same degree as my mom. Uh, my my mom and my dad paid for college by the quarter. Um, and they just paid for it like out of pocket. It was like two hundred and fifty bucks a quarter. Yeah. Oh my so, like, god. Was that a thousand dollars a year? Yeah. Oh, I'm. And to- I was like, that's what my textbooks cost my freshman year. Yeah. And just for the summer, just for the first semester, it was like a thousand bucks, just textbooks. Yep. Hot tip. Hot tip. Get your prereqs done at a community college. Yes. Pay, you can. Pay, they're like you can pay. I that's what I did. I paid for them out of pocket. Yeah, I took I my foreign language, my math, like all that stuff. You should at, do that at, at ACC. So cheap. You should definitely do that. So cheap. Do not pay university prices. Mm -hmm. Do not go into debt for biology. University for biology 101. (laughs) Simply do not do that. If you're going to college, absolutely take prereqs and get stuff knocked out at a community college. Cannot recommend that highly enough. We had an episode of Anma a few months ago where Jeff and I 
sing praises about ACC. Yeah, yeah. and great. about how it's like same, same similar sentiment. And I don't think we said exactly the same thing, but it's like you should absolutely take advantage of that if you have the opportunity oh, to yeah. save yourself uh, a bunch a ton of, of money. A fuck ton of money. <laughs> A lot of dough. I went to school in Canada. Was it which free? Which is not necessarily cheap. It wasn't free, but the school I went to had a uh, in-state like tuition mm-hmm. special. Uh, Do you guys have so, states or in province? Province. province. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm I'm so used to trans. You're local in America, <laughs> yeah, so it's yeah. okay. Uh, <laughs> so because I was, it, it was a school in Montreal, and because I was born in Quebec, okay. I got that discount. Mm-hmm. Nice. And my textbooks were more expensive than my tuition. That's wow. crazy. I, I in Georgia they have this thing called the Hope Scholarship, and you when you if you graduate high school with, it's either a three point three they'll pay like eighty percent of your tuition. Oh wow! And if it's like higher or yeah, and if it's higher they'll pay more. And I think that's like a Pell Grant, and it's like ninety or hundred. I don't know. I I wasn't smart enough to get that, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I I lost it because of the bio class. I got a C in biology oh, my first like bio. my first uh, in my freshman year, and I lost my scholarship for like a year and a half. So I had to say, yeah, I lost hope. Um, <laughs> I truly lost. I, hope. I truly lost hope. Uh, so, it, but they have like a program where you can like earn it back. But, but by then, I was like, damn, I already paid for like a year and a half, like with parent loans. And Guys, like, careful. We're talking yeah. about wanting a better education and a more affordable education. This well, is a very extreme leftist. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry for being such a leftist. Yeah, god damn. How dare, how dare Affordable education? education for people to better society? How dare. Whoa. Ooh. Revolting. Calm down. <laughs> I would, I, I'd like to get back to pizza economics really quick and <laughs> yeah. say the, fi- the $5 That's hot nice. and ready is a screaming deal and delicious. How big oh, is yeah. the hot and ready? Huh? How, how big is it? Like, is it a medium? It's like a medium. Yeah, it's a medium the, size. Sorry. The, it's, it's good. The, I, food, the food court at the Costco up in North Austin has been closed for a couple of weeks. What? I, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I think it, it's supposed to reopen tomorrow. So I don't know what's been going on with it. Um, I don't know if anyone else has noticed. You know, I, I was noticed because it's like it, Costco famously has yeah. like the... The, the really, dollar fifty hot dog. Right, the dollar fifty hot dog. Sam still has pe- theirs. Pizza. So I was like, I don't know if like I'm a little nervous when it finally reopens. What's going to be going on with no, it? No, I don't think they're going to change because I was at, I went to Sam's. I got a hot dog, a churro, a soda the size of a toddler. <laughs> and is a, there any other size? I got, a, I got a soda you could drown in. Yeah, and a, a vanilla <laughs> soft serve, and it cost me three dollars and eighty nine cents. Man, it's wow. still nineteen eighty up in yeah, there. There you go. <laughs> Truly, man. that's how they get you through the door. That's why your money goes far. <laughs> Really stretch, really stretch a dollar. There. Yeah. Also, that hot dog, robust. It wasn't like a, it wasn't like a oh, shitty no. hot dog. It no, was no, like no, a, no. that was a, that no, was no. a, that was like a. That's sausage. how they get you in the door. Yeah, that's yeah. how they get you this, in the door. I'm telling you, it, 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 it ain't no like church picnic hot no, dog. No, no, boiled no, no. Boiled in a Mm-mm. fucking <laughs> giant pot. Nah, it's like pot. a no. grill. It's a grilled dog. It's a frank. It's a frank. It's not a hot dog. That's it's a frank. A frank. <laughs> it, it's on a roller. Speaking of hot dogs, uh, the other week we went to Anaheim to mm-hmm. premiere the new uh, Ruby Justice League movie. Mm-hmm. And the f- I landed like Friday morning at like 9 a.m. Because when you're flying to the West Coast, you get you a get lot time of back. hours back. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I have awesome. nothing to do today because the premiere was on Saturday. So I was like, I'm going to take myself to Disneyland. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> because okay. Our, hotel, well, whim. our hotel was literally... A fifteen minute walk. Oh, nice! Shit. And All I right. went. Fuck it. I'll buy a day pass. It's pricey, but like, Whatever. I have nothing else to do today. I'll treat myself. Yeah, you're allowed it, a little treat. A little treat. Yeah. It was fucking crazy there. I'm sure, as yeah. you would expect on a Friday. Oh, it's especially like beautiful weather. Beautiful, like, weather. like perfect this is weather. Like spring yeah. break time too. Exactly. For kids. So I ended up just like I rode a few rides and I did like some attractions here and there, but like everything had to wait. I tried to do the fast pass stuff, mm-hmm. but even that, it was even like you could you... only book one thing at a time. And you still wait ninety minutes just somewhere else. Exactly. <laughs> and so I ended up just spending a lot of the day just like going around to the different food vendors <laughs> and eating. <laughs> but it was like I spent like a hundred and fifty bucks on a pass just to essentially just go to spend eat. more money on food so in Disneyland. <laughs> there was, <laughs> which by the way, the food there is phenomenal. Is there an I Epcot mean, there? No, it's uh, it's just Florida. like a surprisingly good food. It is yeah. crazy. I was gonna say there was a story about a guy. I think it was like a, it was a few years ago about a guy who got a day pa- like it was a, it was a season pass, but it got you basically every time you went, it got you a meal and a drink. So it's like a season pass is a season park pass. Mm. Yeah. Which which they like get which they bank on you not taking advantage of because if you get a season pass, it's like what what are you gonna come like maybe once a month? You're gonna drag your yeah. family out of the car yeah. and go maybe once a month. Yeah, yeah. You, we'll give you a free drink and some food. Yeah. This guy <laughs> got one of those passes and lived or worked 
like a couple blocks away yes, from the so park funny. and would go there every day for lunch. That's so and funny. And got a free meal and a drink from the park every day. And like the story came out, it, it estimated that, like the total amount of money <laughs> that he basically conned he the park. No, no, he paid for he it. Paid for, he, he paid, paid for, for it, it in that season pass. But it was like, what was it, like the season pass was like five what five, what five hundred dollars? Who knows? Yeah, it was like five hundred dollars. But, but if it was you like do a one meal a day, oh my it was god, like ten grand in food because he ate there like every day for a year. Fuck yeah, that is I love so it. That's great. Yeah. That's me. That was me with Movie Pass. I abused Movie Pass. Game I, the system if you can. Man, it's not. I hero. mean, you're taking advantage of something that is not illegal. Yeah, no, you're just getting yeah. what you like, paid for essentially. Man. I like, was just living more. high on the hog with the fucking movie pass. When I was in Georgia, uh, I had to drive like an hour, an hour and a half commute, like home and back. So in order to just like skip a little bit of the traffic, I would just go to a movie theater and watch a movie and then go home. Mm -hmm. And then when I moved here, uh, I used to live at the Amley next to the uh, the the little the Alamo draft, house? draft yeah. house. And where I was in the corner, I could sign into movie pass from my bed. <laughs> so I would like reserve the movie <laughs> and then just like walk over there. And you I could would just, connect to their Wi-Fi. And you, all you had to do was be in the vicinity. You the area. It's a geofence oh. thing. Yeah. That's so, so I was funny. Yeah. And because I was on the corner, I could connect while I was like in my bedroom. <laughs> wow. And I was just like, I was literally going to like a movie at night. Like I was, I was using yeah. that movie pass. Especially when you live yeah. next door to that yeah. Alamo. It's a nice Alamo. Sometimes too. I would go because I just wanted to buy cookies. Hey, listen, <laughs> make use of it. I you mean, there, I'm not above, I'm not above like even, I'll, I'll stoop it lower than that. If it was, <laughs> if I needed, I would use the bathroom. Oh, I just, absolutely. Like, yeah, right. Like, yeah. oh, I, want a, I want a clean bathroom, but I like know where it, <laughs> it is. The, no like, uh, two for the matinee. And then you just like go, you just go and you walk you, out and you're like. Especially there, you like, they have the door that closes all the way. It's like floor to ceiling. <laughs> it's a really nice yeah. bathroom. Yeah. All yeah. bathrooms should be like the Mueller Alamo oh, absolutely. bathroom. absolutely. Where it's oh, like non-gendered. You just, just walk in. It's doors. Everything is a door. You lock mm -hmm. it. And again, like you said, to the fucking ceiling. So, ceiling yeah. floor. No gaps. Wall to wall. No gaps. No gaps. You can, hey, if you got to let fly, you can let fly And no one's going to no, no, because there's a movie happening next door. They think it's the rumbling yeah. from uh, <laughs> <the> action movie. <laughs> it's a great place to shit. Somebody's watching Fast Ten. <laughs> no. Did you ever hear you're talking about the guy who uh, exploited the the season pass for Disneyland? I think I know what you're going to bring yeah. up. The guy who like exploited the American Airlines air oh, pass, the first yes. class lounge, right? Oh well, yeah, it was didn't first class it? tickets. Didn't they change it because of him? Right. Well, it was something they that didn't have. that they stopped making. Yeah. Is it, it's, is it the punch drunk love thing? The thing that punch drunk love was based on, like it was, that was using, the pudding. Thing. It was using pudding cups. It, this no, was, this was different. You okay. could like buy like a for ten thousand dollars like tickets forever. Right. Well, it was a two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. That's you could a buy lot a pass more money. <laughs> that allowed you to book unlimited first class seats for the rest of your life. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And those trips. Also accrued miles. Fuck yeah! So on top of having free travel, you were also getting miles. What from do you it need too. the miles for? You other can people? Gift, you gift, book other people's shit. Other people's shit. shit. Yeah. So he, this person bought himself a two hundred fifty thousand dollars air pass. Then you were allowed Jesus. to buy a companion one for one hundred fifty thousand dollars for to have like a travel companion. And then between, I guess he bought it in nineteen eighty seven. Is it still active? No, the airline revoked it in two thousand seven. Twenty Holy years later, shit. I mean, because they got to give him some money back. I imagine. Yeah. I don't think so. Well, if you pay for something with the insinuation of lifetime, they claim that he was abusing it. No, you told me. Right. I, you told me there was no fine. This is Pepsi Jet all over again. I thought Seriously. you were going to say about another exploitation that happened <laughs> involving. I don't know which airline it was, but someone who would buy um, first class tickets every day. Not maybe not every day, but oh, every, very yeah. often. Go eat in the lounge. What? And then cancel his trip and because it was like a first class ticket he was able yeah. to get like a full refund That's so if, funny. If, if, like he wasn't buying the non-refundable yeah. fares he was buying the more expensive oh, fully Nicole, refundable yeah. cool and then just not going that. and then going to the and then going to the airport lounges where for first class tickets it's, it's meals it's are free meal, all food and, is free and, and all that so drinks so are funny. free and everything yeah. yeah that's what I thought you were going to bring yeah. Yeah. these no. are the so economic heroes <laughs> you gotta game the system this is our modern day Robin Hood you gotta game the system if you're, look, if you're not gaming the system, like, what, what, are, you, what, are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Seriously, yeah. I, I mean, the the price you are really paying though is like go, having to go to the airport, airport. all the like but that really is. He, the, but like, what if he has yeah. TSA precheck? He's just in no bags, no shoes. Like he's got no right, bags. You're not actually traveling. Yeah, like, so he's just walking through yeah. TSA precheck. You guys know one of these eventually is going to be Chris Demers. Uh, someone just oh, brought it up in, in chat yeah. with his pasta yeah. pass. Yeah. pass. Weatherman NX01 brought up the pasta pass. Where it's like <laughs> Chris is absolutely going to find a way to exploit a system. Oh yeah, and he should. Honestly. And, and, and he's good at it. Exploit uh, every system you can. I I'm I'm very thankful that Chris has the constitution 
constitution that he does because if I were to get a pasta pass, they would find me face down in a pool of Alfredo. Like it would be, it, it would be over for me. I'd just be, uh, oh gosh, I'd put on fifty pounds. Oh, I'd, I'd be the oh, it's too hot today. I'd be fanning myself. <laughs> like, Do you uh, remember when Chris was had the pasta pass and we were over in the bungalow right before and, the pandemic? It yeah. was, and he would come in. If for breakfast, he'd be eating leftover pasta. Jesus Christ. Every single meal, he'd either have leftover pasta or go to Olive Garden. I went with him to Olive Garden once. He never took me. I'm mad. They recognized him. Of course. <laughs> well, when you're there, you're family. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think there was one at the time where he lived like right next That's to his so apartment. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, but, That's yeah. so funny. The, the never ending possible was from September to November 2019. So yeah, right before. Right before. Pandemic. He got, at least he got a good use out of it. I know. I don't think they've had it back since then. I don't think they will. It's probably because In of people economy? like Chris <laughs> who are exploiting the system. Okay, yeah. what's a thing, what is a thing that we can exploit? That we can, what's a thing? What's, what's, a, what's a borderline crime that we can do? That we no. can concoct right Something now. Something technically legal. Some, it's technically not a crime. I was going to say, well, I'm, I'm going to morph this question because I think, like, if you could get one thing, one thing free mm -hmm. for the rest of your life, what would it be? Because, or, like or I, say, I say free, but I say unlimited. If you could get, if you could get the uh, unlimited pass for something. Oh. Honestly, I think, I think I would, obviously not for that price, but the first class flights. Flights? Yeah. yeah. Because that's, like, that's a good one. For me, something I want to do in life is travel more. Sure. And like, if there's a situation where like that cost is covered by something I like yeah. invest in mm -hmm. and that's done. That would be an incredible way to do it. Because yeah. I would fly somewhere every single weekend. Yeah, people know? were saying that that guy who did the air pass thing, he would fly to another state to get his favorite bologna sandwich. Yeah, it I mean, like, like, I would, obviously, flying and is taxing and tiring and stuff yeah. like that. So it's like, there's an extent, but, like, yeah. I would totally yeah. take I mean, advantage of that. Yeah. How about you guys? I'm If it's not, like, thinking on, like, a non-exorbitant level of just things I spend a lot of money on, um, these guys, these boys right here. Liquid death. Liquid, Liquid death. death. Oh, they're so good, free, but, man. Um, if I could, like, pay, a, like, $1,000 and get as many as I wanted for a year, I think it would even out. Isn't that just water, though? <laughs> It it's is, good though. It's really good. You oh, know, it, the can makes it really good. The can makes it good. The can makes it good, but also, um, I just like I don't want it. I don't. I don't. Tr I try not to use plastic if I can help it. Right. Like I bought this coffee, but like usually I have like a reusable thing. Mm -hmm. Like you see my yeah. Yetis. Mm, I um, sure have all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I just try to like drink out of like non like re or, or just like reusable in cans and stuff. So I'm, and even like I have like a like a water jug dispenser thingy. Yeah. But even that's plastic. I guess so for like, audio listeners, we're talking about the liquid death. Yeah, cans. I have a can of liquid death. If that wasn't delicious, mentioned. delicious good. spring water. So um, the okay. chat's blowing up with some my, good. Please, it's some mountain good, water. Some my, mountain water. Sorry. My, my favorite one in chat so far, is, uh, I think it was from Bane09, said uh, healthcare. Bingo! You know, yeah, give me, give, give me, the, give me the unlimited fast pass to my doctor. It's more realistic that I could get a, a pass for uh, for unlimited liquid deaths and yeah. for the U.S. to provide us with any oh, sort of free healthcare, any Absolutely. sort of uh, <laughs> uh, uh, equitable and uh, affordable healthcare. I, health I think it's yeah. more likely you're going to wake up to a pallet of liquid deaths yeah. at your doorstop <laughs> rather than uh, healthcare getting shut yeah, out of the country in the next absolutely. years. Absolutely. So yeah, I'm thinking. What, what about you, Gus? Um, I, I, I was thinking, saying, I was thinking along the same flights. lines as Barbara here about like flights and being able to to travel. Yeah, because um, I, I, I I'm I'm thinking like the big, I'm thinking of big ticket item. I was thinking about big ticket items like flights or hotels. Like stays yeah. would be stays Ooh. are also really expensive because like a flight a flight to you can get you really good deals on flights. But man, you stay more than five days someplace. It's like a thousand dollars. Like oh, it really, easily. it really adds up. I, so I might change mine to stays. Yeah, like, even yeah. if it was like a chain, like Hiltons Ooh. or like Marriotts or something. Actually, like. Airbnbs or hotels. If you, it, is, it adds up more than like a few days. And if there's, if it's over the weekend, God help you. Yeah. And flights will always be the same no matter how long you're staying. Yeah. For. So, so I might hotels, do, honestly. I might do stays more than flights. That's but. fair. Also, actually, again, realistically, my fucking dogs boarding. Uh, oh, that's I, the, sure. the, the, yeah. the deal that I got for um, I'm going to Mexico next month, and the deal that I got for the resort brought the room down cheaper than what it costs to board my dog, where I usually board her. Wow, insane, impressive. Her her hotel her her six by six kennel costs more than my hotel room. That's insane. Oh it's think, insane. God. I think when I went to Brandon's wedding in Mexico, it was the same thing. Yeah, where it was like, oh, like. The the room block at the hotel we stayed at was so cheap. I was, was like, so I'm gonna book the most expensive room I can, and it was like, 
55 bucks a night or I, something. I forgot you guys were at Brandon's wedding. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's because you bucks. didn't take the bus with us. Yeah, Because uh. we were in, we had to go to San Francisco. Right. Right before that. So I had to fly from San Francisco to Mexico to mm. go to the wedding. Yeah. I yeah. just, yeah, 49 bucks for me and like 54 for her. That's crazy. It's that stupid. Is, it's fucking re- stupid. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Trevor and I still have not, uh, like, gotten into the actual nitty gritty of looking to get a dog yet but yeah. we keep talking about you want to borrow mine <laughs> no <laughs> She's do you want to borrow mine next month for uh, uh, six, six days, uh, six days uh, like five to six days maybe yeah. well, you'll pay me 54 dollars <laughs> um 53 it's gotta it's, it's gotta, gotta work it's out. Gotta even out there you go <laughs> but yeah that's something that we think about it's like these costs yeah. you don't even think about because like when i had my cat i was just like he has an automatic feeder he's got an automatic water his litter box already gets changed like every four days. I would I just pay like one of my friends like twenty bucks to go check in on them a couple times. Mm-hmm. But other than that, you just leave a cat in the house, right? And have someone to go check on. Cats them. are yeah. fine, yeah. And dogs, he's so much. Oh yes, I mean they're they're a joy and they love you. Yeah, and their companionship is priceless. Suck on resources. But everything else is very very priced. The, yeah, the, a lot of hands on work needed yeah. yes. to to maintain that. Yes. What what I didn't expect was um. Uh, they lied to me at the shelter. They said she was going to be 35 pounds. She hit 35 pounds in about six months. Nice. Uh, she's, oh. she's like 55 now. Oh my God. And Don't. she's my height. Um, she's a big old dog. She's my height. Uh, and she's still growing because she's only one. Uh-huh. And the amount of food that she consumes, holy shit. And she can't eat anything that's not, uh, it has to be fish. It has to be no grain or uh, her farts will literally burn down my house. <laughs> uh, so she, like, I think the food that she's, she's a real, on. She's uh, real Kasari. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like a $70 a <laughs> before tax bag of food, and I have to buy it, like, twice a month. Wow. And I'm, I was like, that's, like, human groceries. That's, like, human groceries. I might have some, uh, we might have a, a sponsor for Always Open yeah. that is a uh, dog food company. Um, and I do not have a dog, so I, I am in need of tell, friends who have dogs. Tell them that you've got like a 55 pound mutt that loves Oh fish. yeah, I might be getting some some samples so I, I know who to beat. reach out to. <laughs> I'll see what the ingredients are though to watch make it, sure. Watch it, be for, watch it be like a small dog food brand and they just have like little pate Tiny cups. little things. I, I love all the memes about dogs that are like, dogs in the past. Like, <laughs> yeah. I killed wolves that were surrounding our encampment and ate the liver of a fox that tried to steal our food. And today it's like, you changed my food and I got diarrhea. I, f- I threw up. <laughs> I threw up. I, it's, it's Standing hard. in the doorway. Yeah. I, 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 threw I threw up. up. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. My dog did my uh my dog, she eats uh anything left on the floor. And one time she got really sick. I was really, really worried about her. Uh she's just vomiting all day. She was lethargic. But two things about it. When she would throw up, she would make this really stupid face. Like it was I didn't know that no, it wasn't that. No, cats make that face. She would just go. <laughs> and then just yeah. that's right because dogs just go <laughs> and they just yeah. they, they go, yeah. it's, it's and there's no, it just comes out just but, but, when, when <laughs> i when i had my shih tzu when he was still alive he, with him it wasn't one and done really? he, would, he would start to whoop <laughs> whoop so like a cat yeah it's like oh shit we we, we got we got a couple seconds we he he was we got to the point where we could take him to the toilet and like ride or die like he would put his paws <laughs> down on the toilet seat and we could position his head over the toilet like, <laughs> right hold, into the you're holding your dog's hair back yeah, yeah right into the bowl up. flush it like oh thanks dude i really appreciate that. <laughs> thanks for the warning there was a uh, um somebody like posted uh a while back about like things that aren't olympic aren't olympic sports but should be uh, and I, po- I I posited that an Olympic sport should be uh, waking up bolt right, bolt upright in bed in the middle of the night and getting your cat off the bed before they throw up. <laughs> oh my god! Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> just uh, like nothing wakes uh, you up faster nothing than makes that. You up faster. <laughs> <laughs> like a cat, and you're like, I mean, please, Dracula please, style, please. sit up <laughs> straight up in bed. Like no, 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 no. Like to, like. <laughs> like God forbid, fling, God fling forbid blanket, you land on your feet, bitch. Like a blanket. Go! Man, cat, cats, it, again, it, but they're so dramatic. Because it, it does take, like, it takes, like, a full 30. Yeah, no, don't do oh, that. Oh, that's so good. And then they just, it's like, okay, okay, okay. I had carpet when I got my cat. Oh, no. So it was just the only uncarpeted place. It was either the kitchen or the bathroom. So I had to decide where to where the fucking chuck them. Truly, like, up. red or blue wire. It's like diffusing <laughs> yeah. a fucking bomb. Yeah. Like, it's like, if I throw him in the bathroom, he could go on the bath mat. If I throw him in the kitchen, that's nasty. Like, yeah, I eat do you have a there. cat? I eat over the sink in there. What? You don't have a cat, do you? No, no, but I have had cats in the past. Uh, I've lived with people you, who had step cats. cats. I've had step cats. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you know what it's like. Yeah. yeah. Never been a cat person. You, you want a cat? 
I'll get your cat right now. Do I want a cat? Yeah, do I want a cat? Nah, you know what? Go on and try to offload. I, I, you know, I, I was thinking about that because I, I live alone mm -hmm. and I have a big place and I was like thinking about actually getting a dog. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, and but then I was like, oh, but I also know cats are pretty low maintenance, and you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, if they're, I'm, I'm if they're girl cats, sure, <laughs> sure. I mean, like, I, I feel like, I feel like. I could my place would be really well suited to cat, but then I remember it's like I have painting stuff like yeah, uh, every, you like have poison. I have poison. You have poison. I have, uh, I have literal. And you can't really leave things out. Yeah, exactly. And I don't. But and I don't typically leave my paints out and that stuff like that. But it, all the accoutrement and everything is there. That like, what if they just like, if if one <laughs> yeah, or they could become an artist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, no, I'm I was saying leaving. shredding his art. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant painting Truly, when you were using my paintings as like a scratching post. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I was thinking just like if someone were to I don't know bat uh some like you know cadmium paint off of my desk <laughs> onto the floor it's like well that's that's highly toxic yeah uh, that's just a dead cat and yeah. lots of money down yeah, the drain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah and then they walk in it and then, oh, and like, then your I have house red, is just dead red, <laughs> uh, red little cat prints everywhere i don't yeah, know I, it, 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 happen. I, have a, I have a few too many little things that i think they could get into i was um i picked up some lunch today and i was driving back here into uh the studio and i was waiting at this other gate like i was pulling up to it and as i was pulling you know you gotta like scan your car to to get in past the yeah. gate as I was pulling up to the scanner, uh, out of the corner of my eye from the left, I saw some movement, and I looked, and there was a cat, and it just like was walking, and it stopped, like we made eye contact, it was just staring at me, <laughs> and it had like a dead mouse hanging out of its mouth, and then it just like slowly kept walking in front of my car, like I swiped for the gate to open, and it like walked up past the gate, then it walked into the gate, then like down back over there by like the stage where those temporary buildings are built, yeah. and like disappeared with that mouse in its mouth, I was like, Hey, oh, that cat's about to have lunch too. I'm just bringing you a gift. Yeah, that's the <laughs> between that cat and the fox that snuck in the stage too. That's why we don't have rats. <laughs> we also had a bat in here. There was a bat in here uh, many, many months ago. That's yeah. during the daytime. There was one in stage Weirdo. five when we first there moved in there. There was one in stage too. five, and I think Monty was trying to catch it. Yes. Um, and then <laughs> there was also one in here. I think I want to say maybe a few months ago to like maybe a year ago. Um, I, I would have a pet bat. Uh, I would not. They're well, so cute. If they didn't have, have seen their faces? They're very cute. They're very cute. Bats Hello. are cute. They are, they are cute, but they are just absolute unbelievable vectors for disease. Just yeah. un unbelievable <laughs> uh, carriers of all sort of pathogens. Yeah. Uh, a friend of mine had a bat lay, like splay out land on her porch and like unmoving, couldn't tell if it was dead or not. And it's like, well, I don't want to go <laughs> mess with a, a yeah. dead or like a, a possibly dead or dying yeah, what's, it, what's it dying of? So yeah, exactly. So beep, boop, beep, boop, animal control. Yeah. They come out. Guy goes out there with like little like, you know, jokes <laughs> goes out there to professionally go bing, 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 and like, you know, poke yeah. it or whatever. Goes out there, gets it in a little like plastic, you know, puts it down, gets it in a little plastic container, and you know, looks at it, it's like, oh no, this bat's just tired. It's super fat. It's just like, <laughs> it's very he, full of he food. eating good. He eating real good. <laughs> this, is like, fat. this is just a fat <laughs> bat that got like so full and tired of eating That's bugs so that it funny. just had to just chill out somewhere. That's it had to so do a funny. me and basically take a nap after a big meal. Just like, <laughs> oh, this cold patio. Let me just, oh. The most Texas bat to ever I, Truly. Exist. I'm not going to lie. I thought you were going to say it was like a fucking umbrella that just like blew into her yard. <laughs> oh I thought you were going to say it was like a broken umbrella. There's a, there's a bat. It's just, yeah, it's a freaking Samsonite umbrella. <laughs> yeah. so, so I wonder like if there were, like when the bat was in here, whenever it was uh -huh. some time ago, like, what are, like are there warning signs? Like, would you find like bat droppings, or do you just like see the I bat someone, flying around? I think someone just saw it flying around. Okay, do bats because poop I think a lot? I don't know. Probably like, I know they do. That guano's shit. a thing. They shit, yeah. For well, sure. it's it's um it's a what's it called? Um, Fertilizer. No, the uh, the type of animal that ba a bat is. Mammal. It is. But like a rat, right? Okay. Isn't it like whatever, like a rat or mouse? I don't know. The same family. If you ask a the German, no they'll say yeah. Um. I don't know. But yeah, people just saw it flying around and stuff like that. I don't know how much they poop. I imagine a lot. Hmm. Uh, I mean, maybe bugs. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Have some, you, I'm, uh, I'm, some, I'm trying to imagine like weird sightings, like things that could be explained by bats. Like, yeah. Yeah. ooh, the office is haunted. Or there's a bat. Or there's a bat. Or there's, yeah. <laughs> maybe it was both. Could be both. Por que no los dos? Uh, por que no los dos? I love, they squeak. I love that the Texas bat population, when they like go out at night in the summer, Form clouds of Dude. so mm -hmm. thick it's so that, they sick. that they show up on radar. It's yeah. fucking like awesome. you can watch their you can watch their uh, weather radar, uh, and it's like 
oh, there's a big massive cloud formation that's just popped up. But oh no, oh. those are bats. Yeah. Dude, like, it's sick though. Yeah, I know, it, it, it fucking rules. It started raining from the the origin of the rain was the Congress Avenue Bridge, and then it spread <laughs> out from there yeah. over downtown Austin. Mm, interesting. No, it's awesome. Like they just like take flight. I yeah. think I mentioned this on last week's podcast, but I think last week or the week before, I I just happened by pure coincidence to be driving down the Congress Avenue Bridge right at sunset. Hell yeah. And I was like, oh, I wonder if the bats are coming out. And I looked, it's like, oh yeah, there's like a million of them flying out from under the bridge yep. right now. Yeah. yeah, I can't believe people stand in the open air and watch it. Yeah. That well, feels... They, they don't fly typically back over the bridge. They typically fly out over the yeah, water. I don't think okay. I've ever heard of any incidences yeah. Yeah. of people watching the bats. Yeah, because I was there one time in the t- almost 12 years I've lived in Austin. I went to go see the bats once. And it was because we were filming a video out there. But I was like... This seems dangerous. I've I've, like never, a, I've never seen the Congress bats. I've seen the bats. There is a piece of the highway from uh, if you're like heading up towards like IKEA, mm-hmm. and there's just like a stretch of it that has a fuck ton of bats under it. And if you go at sunset, it's the exact same thing just They're on the highway. Out. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, and wow. it, it's horrifying when you're in a moving car, but also very beautiful. They, they don't let anyone. Under the Congress Bridge, right? Like you couldn't go down. Oh no, you there. can. You can. You can? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, I mean, maybe not anymore. But when I was a kid, I definitely, my parents definitely took me up here to watch the bats. No, we were we were on the ground, yeah, on the ground the level. Yeah. The oh, like fuck? under? Not yeah. like not like okay. directly under, but like there's like a grassy yeah. area where you could see. Like if you're looking, you could oh, kind of see. I feel under. like I was directly under it, but maybe I. They shit in the water. Isn't that water though? Well, there's no, because like they're, they're still like really close up near yeah. Like, yeah. my own city. I don't even know. Um, <laughs> that, but yeah, yeah, like you can get I, you can get pretty damn close as I remember. But again, mm-hmm. it's been years since I've even. We wonder if you go down there, you find any like bat human hybrids, like bat li- man, man bat, <laughs> man bat. Right, for, for legal purposes, it's man, man bat. bat. No, yeah. that's our stuff. We can say. It. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, it is Batman. Thank you, Dad. Um, <laughs> I saw the uh, not to change subjects too much, but it reminded me when you said fat bat. <laughs> um, have you guys seen the new Dungeons and Dragons movie? Not no, yet. I, I, want to. I want to. It is legitimately so much fun. I knew Hell it was going to yeah. be good. I like, knew it was going to be an good. actually good. an actually good. really good movie, especially if you like are somewhat familiar with D and D. Like now having played it with mm-hmm. Stinky Dragon, I'm like, oh, there's so many like little references, but it's not too heavy handed to where like it You're feels lost. Yeah, yeah like lost or anything like that. But there is a very fat dragon. At one point Hell in the movie, yeah. and yeah. it is a very funny scene. Hell yeah. I, I know it's terrible for their health, but almost any <laughs> animal is <laughs> improved by being fat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you're just like, oh man, that is a fat cat. You seen those oh, fat man. sphinxes? Those are my favorite. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Also, um, if anybody, I, I posted about this as well on on social media. But if you go see the D and D movie in an Alamo Draft House, oh yeah, you know the pre show. Oh yeah, of Alamo Draft pre show. Yeah. Um, you will see a 60 second dungeon Hell that we yeah. made with a STF, but you'll also see our stinky dragon puppet videos. Yeah. I think there's two of them playing That's crazy. Um, in that pre-show. So like show up like 20, 30 minutes before the movie. If you want to see if them, you want to see it. Yeah. So 20, 30 minutes early order and house a pizza right yeah. before the whole Get show a milkshake. starts. Get a milkshake. <laughs> hey, that's what we did. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. That's how you do it. Uh, yeah. remember to take a lactate, a miracle product. Mm. Uh, if you're a man like me who loves dairy and, uh, Ooh. is of, of the, but your age, body does not, my body really yeah. doesn't. Those uh, alcoholic milkshakes at the, dra- the Jesus. fucking grasshopper is a thousand, like a thousand sixty calories. And it is this big. It's zero. It's, if you don't read it, it's so good. That's right. That's <laughs> the right. trick is to not look. Yeah. Exactly. So good. It's so good. It tastes so uh, good. It's got the and the new D and D movie has the best Chris in it, as far as I'm concerned. <gasps> yeah, uh, Pine. Pine. Yeah, yeah. Oh. he's great. Chris he's Pine really, is my favorite. He's really of the made a come up. I feel like he was he was not as highly regarded, and mm-hmm. he's like really like steadily. I feel like he, he really hit the big time with those Star Trek movies. Yeah. Um, he's also had some other really good ones. I don't know if you ever saw Hell or High Water. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, that movie was really good. He Hell was, yeah, he was excellent in that. He's he's very funny in this one too because he's playing as, essentially like they never call him a bard, but he's a bard. Mm-hmm. He's a bard. Character. He's just like a slut. That's obviously. A bard. <laughs> yeah, and he's very charismatic <laughs> and plays a lute, so it's very. It's good to be. He's so great at, in that role, but um, it's funny because watching the movie. The party that they end up forming in the movie, it's not a spoiler or anything, is very similar to the one we have in Stinky Dragon. Oh, really? yeah. It was like a barbarian, a druid, uh, a bard, and then a sorcerer instead uh, of a fighter. A, a fighter, which Blaine was. But I was like, oh, it's like the makeup of our little oh. party from D and D. That's cute. That's really nice. Yeah, I like. Uh, I I I miss Chris Pine has has gone back to the like short hair look, but <clears throat> I really. I was really digging his lesbian art teacher look from like, <laughs> like from like last year, like long hair that oh, was kind of yeah. like like 
behind his ears the behind the ears but like middle blonde, part middle part but kind of blonde and like yeah. the big like f- like flower pot hat and the overalls it's, and like it's very lesbian in the 90s that was from the don't worry darling era right it was like yeah. right that yeah movie was coming out right when that movie was coming out but yeah if, it, if in fact if uh if somebody if production can flash a picture of uh uh yeah like art art teacher chris pine <laughs> it is an absolute immaculate fit. Like. it's a great look <laughs> Um, and he's like got a, he's got a camera. I, the photo I'm thinking of specifically, he's got like a camera around his like neck, and he's like uh, laughing. He looks like he's having a great time. Isn't anyway, I can't sad. wait. I can't wait to see the new D and D movie. What? It was very uh, fun. It, the, that's how I feel about every picture that I see of that dude uh, that plays Nate in Euphoria. Uh, he's got a really weird name. A, 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 something a, I don't know. He's got a weird name. But every picture of him, I'm just like, there is a there is a 19 year old lesbian who is just entering college somewhere who is going to. <laughs> buy his entire wardrobe <laughs> because all of his fits are just like serving like first girlfriend realness like, Night, yeah, like the category yeah. is your first lesbian relationship and that's every single outfit i've ever seen in picture then I, can't, I can't find the picture of him with the camera on but, but is the this, hair is this the hair yeah, yeah yeah people were like oh he was like someone tells like oh you look like jennifer aniston wrong <laughs> wrong <laughs> i did actually funny that look- in my google image search there's a picture of him and jennifer aniston side by side <laughs> right here <laughs> oh jimmy funny. kimmel yeah uh, jimmy kimmel that. That's Fuck funny. off! Fuck he, that is a great look. <laughs> the gray swept back hair, awesome. This is literally the same hair that Brad Pitt had in the nineties. Correct. It's the exact same hair. Also, Jacob Alordi. That's his name. Jacob Alordi. Okay, that yeah. sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah. He played Nate in Euphoria, and uh, all of the lesbians want to dress like him. Mm. Well, I need. I need. I. I. I don't. I don't, I don't want. This I, don't, shirt. Is this? I don't watch. I don't watch Euphoria. I, I know the. I know the like uh, the character. Like I've seen. Yeah. I haven't seen him in. Yeah, in he's a bad guy. Ba- oh, bad dude. Okay, he's a bad dude. He's a rude dude with a terrible attitude. With a terrible dude. <laughs> yeah. Rude Damn. dude. Uh, speaking of uh, of television stuff, I finally gave in and watched something you had talked about before, uh, Griff. I finally watched Physical One Hundred oh. over the weekend. Yeah, not, not Deadly Mile Higher. Thumb. Okay, can I say something about that really quick? I showed it to Nikki, who is very, who is a Physical very one hundred. No, Deadly uh, Mile High. Deadly Mile High we're, we're, we're tangenting right now. She she loved it, and so did Armando. And if that's on the glowing review, she is so picky. I just give it Picky Gus, Nikki. please. Gus, please. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. But I did watch Physical viewing. 100. Uh, I watched like all nine episodes. It's so over good. The have, have you seen it? I yeah. Assume? Have you seen it, Andrew? No. Physical 100? It's no. a, a it's show so on good. Netflix where it's like they take it's 100, Korean. what you would say, athletes or like really physically fit people. Yeah, sure. They're not all it's athletes. Like, it's like Olympians, a crossfitter, and then this guy's a farmer, but he farms so good. And He's like ripped. climbers, sure. models. Yeah, sure, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, oh, and it, choreographers. And keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Power like, lifters. <laughs> and it's like, let's all do, let's have them all do different competitions to see who like is the, the ultimate physique. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, the first sure. competition. It's like everyone has to hang from a scaffolding and whoever can hang the longest wins. Uh-huh, and uh-huh. Just, you know, stuff like it's that. Awesome. Yeah, different types of, like, uh, endurance or strength yeah. or, like, any type Quickness, of... Quickness. Uh, to prove your, team, like... Yeah. Because yeah. it's like, cause it's like you can't just be the biggest, strongest guy because it's like, oh, this is an agility test. Yeah, and that, like, like, your hanging abilities are going to yeah, suck. Yeah, exactly. There was a... There was a I mean, maybe, it is, maybe it's this show, but I feel like there's another show... Where they were pitting like basically athletes against just like regular b- a different people, people with yeah. th- people with physical jobs, yeah. but who weren't like professional athletes or something like that. Ooh, what's that? And like there was basically there were bodybuilders who were getting fucking rinsed yeah. by guys who deliver beer. Yeah, because like, yeah. when you bodybuild, you're just gaining mass. You're not really doing like if you're doing cardio, it's like you just to, like you're not you, you don't have endurance. Like a guy who's really strength, strength just, not even strength really because if you hy- like hypertrophy and strength aren't the same, so you can have true. huge muscles and not be yeah. as strong as someone with smaller muscles. There, there That's was, why you see those guys like going up against like just absolute fucking like beef like huge beefy dudes beat them in arm wrestling because yeah. they actually have mm-hmm. like strong yeah. there was, yeah. there's one person who gets very far in that show uh who's like you know not jack not huge and they're like oh what do you do and i don't want to say what he does because yeah. i don't want to spoil it no spoilies. but they're like oh practical muscles yeah they're all like oh you got uh, practical muscles like okay. the farmer yeah you got right. far- yeah. you got farmer muscles <laughs> you got from farmer like muscles. Yeah, bailing hay no literally like yeah. <laughs> you, yeah you've got rocky four muscles it's like <laughs> when he's like training up in the cabin like lifting like doing sit-ups with oxen on his back the only thing that bothered me about that show is like I get it. People here want to win and they're like very competitive about this because they're all athletes and yeah. like these people who are like essentially like super deeply competitive. Yeah. Um, 
a lot of the times they would just be like, oh, I don't want a girl on my team. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to work with this girl. Oh, we have a girl. Oh, the, these the, girls. The, and it's just like, the oh Korean, <laughs> the Korean level of sexism is a little more open uh, than American very, sexism. It's, it's pretty. It's, it's not pretty, veiled or whatsoever. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Mm. Cause they'd be like, well, this is the weakest team. They've got three women. Yeah. Right. So we're going to obviously go up against them. Yeah. We right. pick them because we can beat them. Because they're women. What are you talking women, about? Yeah. <laughs> Or it's like, oh, I can't believe a girl did that. Yeah, it's like it's a lot oh, of that. Man, yeah. They're or, athletes too. <laughs> yeah, like that one. Like, part, oh, people was... with like naturally better endurance, uh, higher pain tolerance, yeah. uh, better natural aim, balance, ba oh, yeah. better balance. Just Is like, it true? Do women have a higher pain? Was it, I guess because we experience more pain well, constantly. Then, well, then there's, the, the, uh, there's one event, like a team event, where like a woman gets kind of hurt. Oh yeah, uh, and she just gets up, and she just like gets up, and keeps going, and all the men are like, oh, I can't believe she just got up and yeah. kept oh, yeah. going. Like, yeah. Uh, that, <laughs> I can't believe her leg didn't snap in half <laughs> from what she just went through. Like, I would could've... have been complaining on the couch for days. Like, <laughs> yeah. If I just stubbed my toe, actually. Yeah. That, man, I, that, I that's been just a, so good. I would have been a witty bitty baby about that. Damn. <laughs> Injury, yeah. you should and watch it's, it. It's, it's okay, really I'll check it And you should text me while you watch it. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> really good. It's really good. I, 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 I put it on, I was like... I'm not really into this. I don't know. I'm not really going to like it. Yeah. And they're like, oh, no. Also, the dub is hilarious because, okay, every... You, you watched watch, it dubbed? I like to... I have ADHD. I can't do one thing at a time. So if you watch it dubbed, it's... it's Okay, it's mostly normal people's voices who, like, it looks like they voice match to what they actually sound like. Mm -hmm. And then there is one guy who is an anime voice actor and I have heard his voice before <laughs> and he's doing like full, he's doing full like anime, like I'm the anime villain bad guy, like that. Yeah. And I'm like, why are, like, why are you doing your anime? Yeah. Like he's doing his anime voice for a real so life human. <laughs> we, Trevor and I also watched it dubbed. Um, we, we tried subbed for like the second and third episode mm -hmm. because like we were getting a little annoyed with the voice with, acting. Yeah. It's <laughs> and like the repetitiveness. It's, it's one thing when it's like, it's especially a dubbed over without the like context of like hearing the rest of everything of people going, right. oh, but oh, you don't hear anything oh. else. Yeah. Sucks. It was a little annoying, but we <laughs> sure came to play today. <laughs> we also like, we're watching that show kind of while multitasking. So mm -hmm. we decided yeah. to put the dub back on so I we like could it. like know what's going on but not having to necessarily be watching at every any given moment yeah um but we gotta say like there are some voices that did those people dirty yeah like there was one guy who's like yes i'm here to win i can't, <laughs> I can't wait to do it and then yeah. you would hear like his japanese voice in the or korean. sorry korean voice in the background it's nothing like that and it was like who's a, a but like yeah. very yeah. very deep. low but they'd be like i don't know this guy kind of has like there's like oh no this guy kind of looks like a villain let's give him a villain voice like it's literally that and then like the women it sounded Again, it sounded like they had three women doing all of the women, mm. and it was just like like doing different voices. But other than that, the dub is gold. The also, dub is gold. I did not. In, I did not intend to do <laughs> an imitation. I just meant to do a low voice, no, no, and they just came out that way. So I apologize. Um, but it was funny because Trevor and I were joking how like we think we're speculating that they just handed whoever a microphone and they're like, "Could you read these lines into a microphone?" Just oh, so he could. Yeah, sure. sure. I didn't like, think. Wow, that I can't believe win. that guy is doing that. Yeah. And then like, oh, there was, oh, and my favorite part, there's like three Americans or three, like three Americans. They oh. also, they're, even if they're speaking English, they're dubbed too. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah the, the baseball player, rocks. he doesn't speak Korean the whole time. He doesn't speak the, much in that entire show. Yeah, I but think. when yeah. he does, they dub over him, but I see his lips matching. I think uh, Miracle, the black guy speaks Korean and yeah. he's like, yeah, he does. so he gets dubbed over, but <laughs> he's literally speaking Sorry, I just remembered that one German guy who's like, oh, yeah. oh my god, oh my god, he that, was a little. He's like that guy who did all the plastic surgery. He isn't that guy, but he's like the guy who did all the plastic yeah. surgery to look like Jimin, and he, now he's transphobic. He was like Shane from Love Is Blind. Yeah, if you know that show and yeah. know that character, he he man, that guy was. I'm which, glad he got out early. Which season? I think it was season Shane? three. Is he the? He's the guy who like kind of looks like this. Gah! Gah! Yeah, I'm scared. I hate shit. The, like very wide yeah, eyes, very wow. like very wait, teeth. He looked, wait, is he the guy who didn't uh who got left at the altar, basically? I don't I don't know, but he's the guy that's like this all the time. I, and he talks like he talks like a toddler who just like had like way too much sugar and like he's just always like this. And like he clearly has had veneers. all his teeth replaced with veneers, veneers yeah, but like fully the, veneers. way too big and white for his face. He looks face. like he just did several rails every time he's on screen. Just, I'm not, I'm just gonna say it. About, <laughs> this guy. That's the yeah, guy. Yeah, that's the guy. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Uh, you know, no, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, he, he, 
real real veneers on it with a Groupon style <laughs> yeah. dental work. Just like, Yo. man, you got the. But this German guy on the show looks exactly, looks like, exactly like that. Sorry, that German it, guy who's more Korean than most of the people there, as he says. It, Esther said it was right. really weird listening to him talk. She's like, he speaks Korean with a German accent. That's she was like, so I don't, I've never heard that. It's so I, weird. I think about that constantly about how other languages sound when other languages speak them because again when we think of an accent in english it's because they know another language and then they're speaking english so i'm just like what like like that what does a like a Ger a russian person who learns japanese what does that sound right. like yeah like it's gotta have it's gotta have an accent and i'm like what does that sound like has there oh, ever Jesus, been yeah. a i'm sure there has been <laughs> right? watch an sure. anime that has a russian character living in japan yeah and they probably have an accent? Yeah. They, they do they usually uh do the it's usually the same voice actor that does the black character voice when they have like a Russian character mm. or something like that. It's like the very like the it's always like a super low uh uh like foreigner accent on the Japanese every every single mm. time. Every single time. I need to practice actually speaking Japanese cuz I've been learning it on my phone. Yeah. Oh, nice. And like it's you don't have to say anything so it's uh, just like yeah. pressing things and so i'm like oh i should actually start Sing. saying That's the things. hardest part of the language so like even when i'm like ego gahana semas means i speak english <laughs> so i'm like trying to learn these things so when if you know we go to japan i know yeah. how to say Makes things sense. i know how to say like ticket and like nice. all these things to nice. get to places even, map even like uh my girlfriend's uh my girlfriend's sister she lives she's been living in japan for a really long time and she's like extremely fluent but That's so impressive when she talks to her on the phone she now speaks english with like a japanese inflection so like it's like the inflection of the english word is like if she were speaking it in japanese it's really weird i don't know how to describe it hmm. interesting it's, it's not an accent because like she still has her like california like american accent but like she'll like the way she'll like stop or like pause or like an inflection on like uh like the the wrong part of a word and I'm just like that's that's crazy when you like know so Whoa. many languages and you can just like how Flip it comes back and out forth. Yeah. yeah I know it's wild oh yeah because she'll be like talking in English and then she'll be like yelling at her pig in Japanese <laughs> wow I people who are fluent like absolutely fluent it's so in impressive languages is very impressive yeah I'm just like it's very impressive. I, I wish I knew languages. only good at the ba very basic level well, thing. I always, French, I, right? I always yeah, yeah. basic though. Feel basic. bad. Like I, I think about that a lot when I think about or when I see like people on, on television who's like who are American living in the United States and can't speak English very well. Yeah. It's like it's your one language and you're like trapped and limited by like a lack of uh, vocabulary. Yeah. Or... I feel like we, we get spoiled as English speakers because you could go to most countries and English is like spoken people someone will know it. people someone have know a it. light mm -hmm. knowledge of english yeah. or like there will be someone you could find who is able to speak enough english to help you but like yeah you come to america and like maybe spanish but like there's yeah. not very many languages that most people know yeah. or have like a basic understanding the of most spoken languages in the world i decided to google it let me guess it's uh chinese a uh, mandarin like mandarin or cantonese i'll let you guys tell me i'm gonna You're, say cantonese i'm gonna say i'm gonna say cantonese mandarin tamil and then s English, s English, Spanish. Um, I'm gonna guess Cantonese. Uh, what do they speak in India? <laughs> Is it not Tamil? Hindi. 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 I'm gonna guess it's, it's I'm Cant Hindi. Cantonese? I think some places say Tamil. As well. oh. Hindi, Spanish, and French. You got any guesses out there? Not uh, French, not French. Yeah, those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's uh, number one English. Really. Oh, number wow. two Mandarin Chinese. Number three Hindi. Number four, Spanish. Number five, French. Close. We, Interesting. We number six. Red, blue. I didn't think English would be number one. Well, I, I guess they're talking. It's, it's like, dual language. Right. Oh. I want to know, like, native. I think, like, native language. I feel like Mandarin would be number one if we're talking just native language, right? Did, I would assume so. I would assume. I would assume so. Did you, uh, Gus? Did you grow up speaking? Did you? Was your first language Spanish? Yes, but my parents switched me to English oh. when I was really young. Yeah. Um, and then we moved to the border. So like, they, taught, they, I grew, they, they taught me Spanish at first, then they switched me to English, then we moved to the border, then you have to speak both. Yeah. If you speak, like, Spanish is more valuable on the border than English is where yeah. I grew up. So it's like, if you only spoke, English, like, if you went to the mall and tried to talk to a salesperson in English, they would walk away from you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> so you had to have Spanish. Uh, so I, I grew up very weird. I'll, I'll acknowledge sure. that. Yeah. But you're 
essentially fluent in both. Yeah, and you so know Korean too, right? Very little. Uh, <laughs> I, I, can, was... I could say enough to make people laugh. I, uh, I, it's That's one of my, it's one of my like deepest regrets that my, so my dad's first language was Spanish, mm -hmm. grew up in Laredo and he, they didn't, he, he really, I don't know why this would have been like an issue, but like didn't teach me Spanish from a young age because he was so, uh, a, a lot of racism and so, a lot of like that's a gen okay so that's a gen x thing because i have a lot of friends uh who have like who have like mexican parents who didn't teach them english because it was two things that are not true which is they said if they taught them spanish first it'd be harder for them to learn english but when like kids have their little like elasticity Soft in brains, their brains yeah. it's easier for them to pick up on two yeah, languages 100%. and then that also sense. they thought they it, they thought it would be like you'd be like looked down upon for speaking yeah. Spanish because then people are like, oh, this is like a little, yeah. Yeah. I, that, yeah, that was the, that was the strange rationale that my parents had. Yeah. Like, they you know, they, they thought it learning. would help you like, it, like they, integrate into, more. Yeah. yeah. But they, they probably also, I don't know what their experience was, but like the experience that my parents had was if they were caught speaking Spanish in school, they would get punished and hit. Holy shit. So they had to speak English. So I think that left a mark on them where they were like, we want our children to speak English yeah. so that they integrate and don't get in trouble. That in when America? Yeah. When, well, when my dad, because my dad went to Catholic school as, as a little kid, as yeah. a little kid, but then went to Americanized public middle and high school. Mm. And there they would Real, they would just come down on your ass if you were mm -hmm. speaking Spanish, that's even crazy. though this was Laredo, Texas, mm -hmm. yeah, that's in wild. the seventies. That's insane. Like 50s, 60s, 70s would like bust your ass if you were right. speaking Spanish in in school. In that's class. crazy. And so, like, there's this there's there this real like internalized bias against it in in terms of when it came to education right. specifically. Yeah. And so, like, that was their rationale for only teaching me English. As a, that's crazy. As a kid, that so. feels like. That feels well because I remember uh, it's drag when I was in, like mid my middle school was in a predominantly um, Latino Asian area, mm -hmm. so it was like it was a very it was a very uh, mixed like mixed uh, school that I went to, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I was in the magnet program, so like they <laughs> they bust us in from like a while sure. like like forty five minutes away, mm -hmm. but so it was the um, what, what was it called it it was the like the local kids and then like the magnet kids and they just had us like on different sides of the building but we all converged in like the lunchroom and stuff sure, yeah, yeah, and yeah. i remember like one of the teachers in the magnet side would get <laughs> would get mad when the kids were speaking spanish because she was like assuming they were like shit talking of course and i was just like no they're just speaking the language mm -hmm. that they know like we what, what is wrong like she would get so mad like she would like be like oh I, she's like oh, i'm gonna see if i can like get someone to write them up and i'm like write them up for speaking spanish you know what this reminds me of griff what the first uh, or the second episode of milf manor oh god <laughs> was that the what was happening i didn't right? get to see the second episode oh right because i had to go home because i had an asthma attack we we hung out a few weekends ago and a few of us watched the first two episodes of milk manor <laughs> and, and yeah griff had to leave early but I there was full asthma attack. there was a scene where some people i guess like spoke spanish and were like joking around with each other and like just talking to each other because mm -hmm. they both spoke spanish and there was a woman there who was like <laughs> freaking out Fuming. and she was like this is so rude and they're like i bet they're making fun of me and like why can't you guys just speak english why, why okay? are they yeah. it about you yeah. oh but this woman was clearly very mm -hmm. like this main character <laughs> yeah. everything is about her everything must be about her blizz is in chat you know hey, the what up, blizz? those um, are the same kind of people that they're like oh, i bet the like when they go to like a Vietnamese nail, nail place and they're like, oh, I bet they're talking about me. And I'm like, no, they're probably just talking to each other. Yeah. Right? And I'm like, literally, it's not all they, about you. It's not all about you. Yeah. Do not, they're not talking about you at all. They literally are like, we have the shared connection yeah. where we both yeah. speak this language. Yeah, and they're like talking about around. both manner. By the way, <laughs> yeah. no quicker way to get them to talk about you negatively than <laughs> right. being that than person. Than being that person, yeah. yeah. And also, like they weren't before. They now are they now. are. Yeah. Very, um, not thinly veiled racism as well. Oh no, being fully. Like, I, I don't understand. Speak English. Yeah, and that's, like, that's yeah. That's a uh, that's mask off racism. It's like that's why don't just, you just yeah. learn Spanish? I, I, <laughs> I can't you. watch those videos on like public freak out, dude. I like hate the, that shit. This America speak English. I cannot watch those. Oh, oh my god. I didn't tell you guys. I told Andrew. Did you tell someone to speak English because they were in America? Yeah, yeah I absolutely did. No, Canceled. um, <laughs> Canceled. Uh, um, I was at a 
I was at another podcasting recording place that's not ours, Uh-oh. and they film uh, predominantly right wing podcasts. Okay, so you're hanging it, out with Joe. Were you yeah, at yeah. the Joe's studio? No, 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 maybe studio. Joe? I was the mothership. No, um, so all of their podcast sets were set up, so I was just like kind of touring around them, and I saw the most batshit insane stuff. But what I did do is I took two pictures in front of one of the sets. Because they had the, it was, I'll show it to you later, but it was the most insane. They have like, it, first, I think the podcast is called. Uh, oh, God. And, uh, <laughs> sure. That sounds yep, there it like is. Very, I found it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right and, uh, it so was, let's bleep that out for the taping. Yeah, no yeah, free we'll advertising, bleep it out. no free cloud. <laughs> but um, I was going around the sets, but they, I think they make like parody movies. And like, I'm not going to lie, some of the parody movies, one of them was like an FDR, like an FDR action movie. <laughs> Where he's like, what? He's like an action star. I don't know. And they also like had, um, an imagine, ep- <laughs> imagine a palette of, of hard justice. seltzers that that was uh, the size of our entire set, and then like up to like up to there, they just had that chilling there. I think it's a sponsor, Do you but think I guess they paid it tastes- a thousand dollars to get a lifetime supply. Of yeah, them. no, I think it's just their sponsor, and it probably tastes bad, so they're not drinking it. Wow. Um, I also I stole a piece of merch though. It is good. It is a good. It's pe- a really good a, piece of merch. It's actually a I'm good. I'm gonna need to learn more it's about a, this. It's it's just it just says defund politicians on it, and oh. I was like, jokes on you. I agree with that. Yeah, jokes yeah. on you. Uh, this what? is uh, this is nonpartisan enough for me. This is a nonpartisan idea. We can all be. <laughs> we all agree. On. Get big money out of government. Let's uh, let, let's agree on this. <laughs> we can so shake hands the on meme that. of the. Yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> I think there's two things that are completely nonpartisan. It's that and the hate of Ted Cruz. Oh yeah, no one like yeah, no one likes that guy. Oh man, no one likes him. I, truly, I, I I love I love that both, uh, and I'm going to go a little p- political here. I love that both Ted Cruz and Rudy Giuliani are in a neck and neck race to be the least respected person in the United it's States. So funny, they, yeah. they are just running this absolute dead heat the of most being the most unserious, un- unserious, <laughs> unlikable, disrespected people in politics. Just it's hilarious. Real, just real smarmy. Like I get the word smarmy now. Yeah, it's, 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 you can see it. You can picture it's it. It's the way Ted Cruz always looks like he's about to cry, no matter what he's doing. Where he's just like, it's always the upturned eyebrows. Yeah. Okay. He's also this mother. This <laughs> motherfucker is also not helping the grandpa, uh, the fucking Munster's grandpa uh, comparisons <laughs> with his facial hair choice now it's because so he's bad. got Razal Ghoul grayness so like bad. right here. <laughs> he's got the Razal Ghoul grayness like right on the corners of the Dude, mouth, looking more and more like Grandpa Munster every fucking day. I don't know who told him it looks good, but it doesn't. He looks like a he looks like a Civil War reenactor derogatory, <laughs> like <laughs> derogatory, derogatory, yeah. like. <laughs> It's a very important distinction. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and wrap this this little potty up. Yeah. Um, potty. Oh. Oh. And we have one more announcement. Oh. It's the end of the show. Oh. 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 oh okay. Go, Happy go, twenty years. Go Happy twenty. The, we all uh, win. The Moon Tower event. Uh, bye. Oh. You got you got played off. <laughs> you got played off. No. <laughs>